as you can see right here we are getting the trajectory of each specific vehicle and we're giving a specific color to each vehicle we can get the pattern the location where these vehicles were over time uh, welcome to this new video this is Sergio we're now going to see how to track and get the trajectory of any object using Python we'll be now writing the code from scratch where we first detect the objects and then later we will get the trajectory so this is the video that I have now of course I'm extracting only a frame so since we want to work with a video then we need to put the extraction of a frame in a loop so we say while true and then we put everything that we have right here inside the loop now we don't want to freeze the frame so we put a wait, uh, wait key one but also we want to be able to quit when we want so we say key is equal to cv2 that wait key one if the key is 27 which is the s key on the keyboard when it means that we want to break the loop and in this case we want to release the camera and in or the video file so if we run this one now we have the video let's now go and perform the object detection so from so we're going we need to import an object detection model what i'm going to use today is a simplified version of this for object detection and tracking that i created specifically for the academy so if you want to access the code it will be available for users inside the ai vision academy i'm going to put the link below in the description and now let's go importing the module so from engine dot object detection we're going to import object detection now we so first one we initialize the initial we load the video now that we import the object detection mode we want to import so load object detection so od equals object detection we load right here the model so we we're going to load models the yolo 11 medium model depending on when you're loading this video might be a newer version of the model but the concept uh, overall it's the same so we load the object detector and now we need to after we get the frame we need to detect objects objects and so we want to do odd.detect so object detection to detect what do we want to detect we want to detect everything that's on the frame and in return we're going to get three things we're going to get the bounding boxes class ids and scores so we know what object is that and uh, the, the location of the object because we have the bounding boxes and the score is the confidence on how sure the model is that that's a car or a truck and so on so if we look through them for bounding box uh, class id score in a uh, zip so we're looping through all of them at the same time so the bounding box will be the x1 y1 x2 y2 equals bounding box and now let's draw a rectangle for that cv2 dot rectangle on the frame top left position right bottom position color of the rectangle bgr format zero blue uh, 255 of green zero of red and two of thickness and now as you see right here we have our objects detected and that's what first of all we need in order to get the trajectory of the objects now another thing that we need is the tracking because in order to get the trajectory we need to follow the object so we need to track the object it means to give a unilocal id to the objects and follow them over time so we import the tracking module from engine uh, dot object tracking we're going to import multi-object tracking and then after the object detector we load the tracker what multi-object tracking mot which stands for multi-object tracking so multi-object tracking now we specify a tracker because we have different algorithms tracker equals mot dot uh, in this case i have a few implementations i have OC sort i have strong sort now we will not get into the specific of the object tracking algorithms this is just a very basic object tracking algorithm that will give a univocal id to our objects so uh, when we detect them we use the tracker to tracker 
track objects tracker dot update we give bounding boxes um, scores class ids and the frame and in return we're going to get bounding boxes ids uh, it means that let's look from bbox id in bounding boxes ids bounding box id in bounding boxes ids we have x y x2 y2 object id class id score equals bounding box id and let's now show everything on screen and let's also so we show the rectangle on the x y x2 y2 position but now to make sure that we have a univocality for each object we associate that so we show that cv2.put text we want to draw the object id on the screen and let's now so i'm i'm putting the object id let's now run this uh, and as you see now we are following the object so we have the classes 27 34 we have a specific object id for each element so you see this light here it's 15 always this vehicle is 40 it's uh, perfectly tracked this one is 41 and so on and now what do we need to do next since we have the tracking and id we can now import the trajectory module so to draw the trajectory the concept is very simple we need to get the center point so we get center x center x equals uh, x plus x2 divided by 2 center y so since we have the bounding box we get the medium x the median y so center y uh, y plus y2 divided by 2 so we draw a circle cv2.circle on center x center y radius 5 this is the color of the circle 0 blue 0 green 255 of red minus 1 to fill the circle with the color and right now we on each frame we get the center point of the vehicle you see now we have the center point and we have the vehicle what we need is we need to associate the id with the different center points and save the center points frame after frame so that we have a track a history of these center points and for this i have another module that i created to simplify this so from engine dot object trajectory we're going to import trajectory manager so let's load now the trajectory manager trajectory manager equals trajectory manager and right here we say trajectory manager dot add or update we want to add for this specific object id the center point so center x center y and then we can get the trajectories uh, get trajectories the trajectory points so by each id so let me show step by step what's happening right here so we print object id and the position we add this object id and this position to the trajectory manager then we go and get the trajectory points trajectory points equals trajectory manager dot get trajectory by id and let's print get uh, trajectory points for object id trajectory points now i'm freezing on the first frame so that we can see the output right here so you see uh, we have id 18 this is the point the x of id 18 and this is the y of id 18 first we add this then we get in return trajectory points for object 18 it's 789 429 so so far nothing nothing new what happens is that this will store for each single object the points over time so when we go to the second frame so now i click and we go to a second frame and we have a new output right here and you can see that now when we go to the second frame each object so object one for example has two points it's point one point two when we go to the third frame 
each object will have three points. One, two, three. Fourth frame will be the same. By connecting these points, so since we have all these points stored for each of them, we can easily use them to draw the trajectory. So we can say, we can just draw a polygon as simple as that. C, uh, cv 2poly lines. We want to draw the polygon where on the frame we are going to use trajectory points. We don't close the polygon, so when you, we say false, because if we close the polygon, it will connect the last point to the first point. But since we want to draw a line using multiple points, we say false. And then let's make this blue 255 of blue, 0 of green, 0 of red, and then two pixels of thickness. And that's pretty much to have the trajectory. So now we are seeing this on the first frame. If we go to the following frames, we can see that we have the trajectory for the specific object. And when the object disappears, so let's see here, we have ID 1. The object leaves and there is no trajectory anymore. We can improve this graphic to uh, show that we're associating the trajectory to a specific ID, for example, by also changing a color, giving a specific color to each of them. So we can give custom color equals od.colors. So we give the color for the specific object ID. So we give to the rectangle right here to the circle and then to yeah to the all the circles that we display uh, to the line about the tra trajectory we can give the same custom color for the specific id let me quickly change the model i have a vehicle model which is much more precise for vehicles so this is a vehicle model that i train only on vehicles and then i want to increase quickly the image size to improve the accuracy so we say image size 1280 instead of 640 so we're doubling the image size processing by the model uh, as you see now it's much more precise with this new model we have also the small vehicles right there all detected and we have a very accurate trajectory of the object so you see now i'm pausing this you see the number three we start to get the trajectory from where we saw the object still now you, you see id 38 for example we have the entire long trajectory of the vehicle. This vehicle now disappears and the trajectory also uh, disappears. Uh, as you can see, it's very simple, the logic and the code that we use to create this. And now we have only a very basic uh, visual representation, but you can save this into some database and you can make a lot further analysis using this. You can make a heat map. You can understand illegal actions where if some vehicle is crossing on some line where it shouldn't cross and so on. I hope that you got a lot of useful information from this video and that the concept was clear. If you want to, if you're serious about computer vision and if you want to build this project like this one to implement in your company or to implement in your projects, I recommend to join the AI Vision Academy. I will be there supporting you with your projects. We are there a lot of professionals you will have access to not only to the courses to build core projects like this, but also access to a community where we can discuss about your project and you can get support. This is all for this video. See you in the next one.